it's supposed to be somebody else playing. It may be hard to remember, but there was a time when Rockstar Games had a steady output for their catalog. Okay, maybe it's not that hard to remember because people keep bringing it up, but it has been a decade since their release schedule slowed to a crawl thanks to the most profitable piece of media that's ever been released. Obviously, everyone's in agreement that this timeline is less than ideal, but what are we missing out on? What could have been created in this five-year gap? Well, a lot of stuff. But one really good example would be something like their 2006 game, Table Tennis. Not exactly the most creative title, but you know what you're getting into. Table Tennis started out as a tech demo for their new Rage engine, a way for them to get in some practice before stepping up to Grand Theft Auto 4. Rockstar felt like the old ping pong was underrepresented in games, and it seems to be an activity they enjoyed regularly, so that's what they gravitated toward for the demo. It was turning out really good, so they just pushed through and developed it into a full game released exclusively for the Xbox 360 and later ported to the Wii, naturally. Let's just say I didn't own an Xbox or a Wii until they were far past their prime, but now that I have them, I can give this game a look. One of the first things you'll notice about the game is its scale. It's a massive difference from most of Rockstar's games, being known for their expansive open worlds. On the contrary, table tennis is nothing but the table, your opponent, and you. There's not even any aesthetic flair. While the graphics are very impressive for an early 360 title, the characters and environments are very plain. That's not to say the game doesn't have any style though. It may look plain, but it feels fantastic. The gameplay is just incredible. When you first start, the controls will probably seem a little overly complex and daunting. I mean, what's the deal? It's ping pong. You hit the ball to your opponent and try not to miss the table. I won't lie, there is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get the controls down, it plays like a dream. The game comes down to three important pillars. Power, curve, and positioning. How hard do you hit the ball? What's the ultimate trajectory? And where is your character standing? What makes this system work is the variety of characters. There's no strategy you can abuse for every match because every character has different strengths and strategies. Your winning move against Liu Ping isn't gonna do shit against Jurgen. I mean, if you put the difficulty on easy, there are some moves you can abuse, but if you put the AI on medium or hard, things get serious. This game gets my blood pumping every time without fail. This is partly due to the excellent controls pulling me in, but it's also helped by the presentation of the action. While the game is aesthetically plain, it makes up for it with its audio and other visual implementations. It starts out pretty quiet, with characters just hitting the ball back and forth. Once the match starts to go on for a bit, the music kicks in, the tension rises, pretty soon some sweat starts to collect on your brow, and you start to really get in the zone. And at some point, both characters build up their ping pong juice to full and the world around you disappears. All that is left is the game. Your opponent will not relent. Every time you zig, they zag. The tension is becoming palpable. And just when you're about to hit your breaking point, you skim the edge of the table and your opponent misses the ball. You've done it. You've scored a single point. Just ten more. Moving on, the music in this game is very good. Rockstar is always known for having quality music in their games, original or licensed, and table tennis is no exception. There were legitimately moments when I didn't want to exit a menu because the music was just so good. Aside from the music, the game uses speed and camera angles to keep things interesting. Whenever there's a close call, be it hitting the very edge of a table, hitting the net, or nearly missing the ball, the camera will zoom in and or slow down to really sell the tension. And on top of that, there's excellent sound design to punch up every dramatic smack of the paddle and every moment of uncertainty. And after the round's over, you get a replay with various cinematic angles to capture your victory or your defeat in glorious fashion. It's also good for giving you a breather after a particularly tough match. And the varied roster doesn't just work against you, but for you too. After all, they had to balance the game for competing against other people. Much like a fighting game, your experience varies from one character to another. They don't have unique power moves or anything like that, though that would have been amazing, but they do change the way you play and strategize based on their strengths and weaknesses. Unfortunately, the full roster is not immediately available to you, and unlocking them is a little obtuse. The game offers you hints on how to unlock them, but they are just vague hints. If you play the game enough, you will eventually unlock all of them, but I'm an impatient goblin and I want to know how to unlock everything now! This being Rockstar, there are actually cheat codes to enter that do various things, one of them being unlocking characters, but I couldn't seem to get them to work? Maybe I'm just an idiot. Anyway, there's not much more to this game, honestly. It's a table tennis game. As fun as it is, it's very narrow in its focus. There's no campaign mode, no narrative, nothing outside of the room that you play in. There are multiple arenas to unlock, but they're little more than the mildest of set dressing. 
It's the opposite extreme of something like Red Dead Redemption 2, with its massive open world, its richly detailed and expansive cast of characters, and its frankly absurd amount of world building and random encounters. And while all that stuff is very impressive, I think we could do with more games that are more focused and small from Rockstar, that tackle different genres. They just haven't developed anything that's not a third person action game in 13 years. Their last venture into a different genre was 2009's Beaterator, and no, I didn't know that existed until just now. In the world we live in today where GTA Online exists, I doubt we'll see anything new from Rockstar. I don't see them making Beaterator today, or Midnight Club, or indeed Table Tennis. We'll be lucky if they just make a sequel to Bully. But it sure would be nice to see the massive amount of talent at that studio focusing on a smaller project. Say what you will about them, they don't half-ass stuff. Hey, maybe if they worked on a smaller game like Table Tennis, they wouldn't have to pull 100-hour work weeks. All that said, Table Tennis is pretty good. If you've got an Xbox or a Wii, give it a try. It's a real blast to play, solo or with friends. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one.